The Blackpool Magic Convention 2023 was incredible. Hi, my name is Joseph and last weekend I attended the world's biggest magic convention in Blackpool and I'm here to tell you all about it. So the way this video is going to work, I'm going to spend a while just kind of running you through what happened each day, um, telling you everything about it, going into a bit of a deep dive and then uh, at the end I've got a compilation of my pictures and videos. So of course, if you're here just for that, then feel free to just skip to the end and watch that. I didn't manage to get that much footage, but I got quite a few pictures and a few videos. So yeah, so let's get into it. Now, for, for most people, the convention started when they got to Blackpool. For me, I was lucky that it actually started when I got to Euston because I spotted uh, Euston Station sorry, in, in London because I actually spotted um, a few magicians that I got to jam with while I was waiting for the waiting for my train, including Nathan Earl, who's one of my favourite street magicians. He's awesome. Uh, a link to everyone I mentioned in the video will be in the description, by the way. And then once I was on the train, there were lots of other magicians in my carriage, including Laura London. So I got to jam with those magicians for quite a while, which was really fun. So then once I got to Blackpool, I collected my pass, which I've just got just here, and then headed to the Ruskin, uh, which, for those of you that don't know, is the unofficial um, place where everybody jams for the convention. Um, it's, it was great. So as soon as I walk in, I just see Peter Turner. I got to talk to him for a bit, um, as well as my friend Henry, uh, Henry Ferris from the Young Magicians Club, who's incredibly talented. And then a few minutes later, I finally got to meet the Magic Allen Society, now, for those of you that don't know, the Magic Alon Society is an online community of magicians uh, started by Alon from the Czech Republic. Uh, we have a really awesome Discord server. We have loads of resources. We jam every single Friday. It's probably, I'd say it's the highlight of my week most weeks. Uh, and yeah, it's amazing. A link to join it for com completely for free will be in the description below. So yeah, that evening I jammed a bunch with the Magic Alon Society. It was so great to meet everyone, like Alon, Tom Air, Ivo, Tom... Uh, and Guy, just everyone that came, it, it was awesome. Uh, on the Friday, I also met Lloyd Barnes and Tom Elderfield. Yep, yeah, that's right, Tom Elderfield from The Traitors. Um, so that was really cool to see all of them. I got pizza with uh, some other people from the Young Magicians Club. That's Henry, uh, Ollie and Sean. So it was great to see them again. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the Thursday. It had some really awesome jams. And yeah, so the convention officially begun on the Friday. So we went to the convention and the first lecture we saw was brilliant. It was Lloyd Barnes. Um, now, Lloyd Barnes had one of my favourite lectures. He was teaching some really, really practical tricks, such as a way of doing Angle Z with a signed card, which is something I know only magicians will understand But what well, that means. But it was awesome. Uh, that was one of my favourite lectures. So well done, Lloyd, that brilliant lecture. And then the next lecture I saw was John Allen. John Allen was a really entertaining magician. I really enjoyed the lecture. Um, and yeah, he taught some really cool tricks. They're not really the type that I would perform, but I still really loved watching the lecture. And he had lots of really practical advice as well, which was great. I should mention, by the way, uh, we also, in the gaps between them, we also went to the dealer's hall, which was absolutely massive. There were so many amazing stands there. They were just it was just huge. Like you'll see pictures of it in the compilation. It was just massive. It was mad. So the next lecture I went to was also one of my favorites and it was Xavier Mortimer. Now Xavier Mortimer is an incredible illusionist. He's got his own show in Vegas. And yeah, he was uh, lecturing a bit about social media, teaching a few stage tricks and it was just brilliant. Um, he had so much great advice and he's just, he's so cool. I saw his show the next day, uh, which I'll get on to when I talk about Saturday. Um, the final lecture I saw on Friday was Eric Tate. Eric Tate is from Penguin Magic, and he's a FISM winner. He does incredible card uh, card magic, like card slides. So his lecture was also brilliant. It was great to see some awesome card slides from him. Um, in the evening, um, I, uh, I saw the gala show, which was great. Um, it was brilliant. There were so many great acts. Like, for example, Kevin James, who has probably the cleanest sewing in half in the world. Anka and Luca, who do two-person telepathy. jean ru Park, who's a manipulator. Just everyone in that gala show was just brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Um, and, yeah, I got to jam a lot more with people like Hiroshi, who, if you guys don't know, Hiroshi is incredible. He was just fooling us for, at, like, at least an hour straight with incredible magic. It was it was so cool. Um, 
so yeah, I got to jam with him for a while with the society. Um, and I met uh, someone called Ricky Locke, who I'd only been talking with online. He's a really cool wedding magician. He's awesome. Uh, so it was great to hang out with him as well. Um, and then later in the evening, I went to the Magic podcast uh, with uh, Craig Petty, Lloyd Barnes, and for a one-off, uh, Pig Cake. So yeah, it was awesome to see that. It was really, really chaotic, but it was really fun. Me and the Al- Magic Allen Society managed to get seats in the front row, which was awesome. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that. So that was pretty much it for the Friday. It was a brilliant day, met so many cool people, um, and yeah. So let's get on to the Saturday. Now, the Saturday started off with a really strong lecture from Amanda Nepo. Um, Amanda Nepo fooled Penn and Teller when she was 16. She's an incredible magician and had a really, really good lecture about creativity. This was also one of my favourite lectures. Uh, Loads of practical advice, so that was great. Um, uh, On the Saturday, I also also met Stephen Mulhern, which was incredible, uh, the TV presenter, because I used to watch uh, his show Tricky TV when I was younger. It was one of my favourite shows. It was awesome to to, uh, see him, but you'll see him in the compilation as well. The next uh, lecture I saw was Richard Jones. Richard Jones won Britain's Got Talent a few years ago. I remember... um, I'm pretty sure I voted for him, but I remember I definitely watched him live when it was on. So it was awesome to see his lecture. He had lots of really practical advice about, like, if you want to go on TV, about building a routine, just that type of thing. So it was really cool. Um, the Yuho Jin lecture was interesting. I really enjoyed the first 15 minutes when he was talking about theory. Um, I thought he had some really good advice there that was really useful. He he then did um, turn the rest of it into a Q&A, which wasn't really for me. I, of course, I understand why some pe- why a lot of people did like it, but it wasn't really for me. But still, the first 15 minutes of that one were awesome. Um, on the Saturday, I met loads of really cool people as well. So the Nymans, like Andy and Preston Nyman, uh, Craig... Craig Petty, Ryland Petty, I got to race Ryland in a cube off, which you will see in the video. Um, uh, who else was there? It was Chris Cox, Simon Lipkin. Um, and, I mean, you'll see all of these people in the compilation, so if I've forgotten a- a- anyone, I do apologise. Um, also saw Brooklyn, which was great to meet Brooklyn. He is incredible. Joel Myers, we jammed with in the evening for a while, It was which was awesome. Um so on the Saturday night, we saw the Xavier Mortimer show, which was really, really cool. It was one of the highlights of the convention. Uh, he was doing, like, Magic with Shadows. And if those those of you that have seen his uh, social media video where he flies with the skipping rope, he did that live as part of the show, so that was awesome. And then we saw the one competition. I thought all of the acts in the one competition were brilliant. For, for those of you that don't know, essentially what the one, comp- one competition is... They took like seven of the best acts in the world and they competed for £30,000. So the only one I'd heard of in advance was Mario Lopez, who did his salt act, which was, of course, brilliant. My favourite was, I'm so sorry, I've forgotten the name, but the first act on was doing like really, really cool magic, which I thought was the best. Um, He was like doing bottle productions, lemon productions. He had fireworks. It was mad. But everybody's uh, routines in that were just incredible. Uh, They were really well thought out, and I'm really glad. So the guy that won was a manipulator, and I thought he had a brilliant routine, which I really enjoyed. So congratulations to him, of course. I'm not the biggest fan of the host, Mike Hammer. I'm not going to get into all of the reasons why. If you were there, you will, will of course, know. Um, But yeah, so that was pretty much it for the Saturday. I went to the Ruskin Jam for a while more, um, which was awesome. And so yeah, that was a Saturday. Then the Sunday was the last day of the convention, of course. Um, And I was originally planning on going to the Mike Hammer lecture in the morning, but I didn't go to it in the end for reasons that I'm sure some those of you who are there will know, like I said. Um, So I had the morning looking around some of the dealers. Uh, I'll show you guys some of the stuff I got from the dealers as well in a minute. But um, and meeting some other cool people um, uh, like Wayne Fox, for example, which was awesome. Uh, and then I also saw the international close-up competition, which had some really cool magicians like John Allen and Amanda Nepo, who I mentioned earlier. It was awesome to see those. Oh, one thing I forgot about the Saturday, I also saw the Wayne Dobson show, which was just really, really entertaining. For those of you that don't know, Wayne Dobson is a magician that was paralyzed, but he still does like really good magic. He's incredible. So it was awesome to see him. 
Um, then in the um, Sunday afternoon, I saw the Henry Harrius lecture, Henry Harrius lecture, which was one of my favourites. It was brilliant. He taught some really practical tricks and showed his new. It was like a seven by seven cube shell, which was awesome. Um, so yeah, that was great. He uh, had some really good magic. And then Eric Chen's lecture. So those of you that I'm sure most a lot of you will have heard of Eric Chen. You will have seen him on um, like talent shows and FISM, that type of thing. Uh, he's absolutely incredible. He did a lecture about uh, black art and coin magic, that type of thing. That was probably my favourite lecture. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, so... And then in, uh, I had to leave a bit early on the Sunday because I had school the next day. But I did manage to catch the Richard Jones show, which was brilliant. He His stage presence is just incredible. Um, and yes, yeah, so that was pretty much it for the Sunday. So, uh, which means pretty much it for the convention. Now, my top five lectures, my favourite was Eric Chen. I'd say the other four that were in my top five, I'd say Amanda Nepo, Xavier Mortimer, uh, Henry Harrius and Lloyd Barnes. I thought all of those... Um, those lectures were all absolutely incredible. My favourite event was the Xavier Mortimer show. That was fantastic. And now let's get into a couple of the things that I got on the dealers. I won't go through everything. I just love to... Oh, not even just got on the dealers, just got in general because... Well, um, on the... I think it was on the Friday or Saturday, uh, Alan surprised me um, by giving me this awesome Magic Alan t-shirt, providing me with my very own Magic Alan business cards and... Um, this really cool Theory 11 deck. So a massive shout out to Alan. It was great to meet you and thank you so much for all of this. It was awesome. You'll see a lot of pictures of him in my compilation. Um, and so some of the stuff I got in the dealer's hall, I got this really cool deck of cards, um, which I, I really love. I think it's awesome from Card Mafia. It's by Card Mafia. Craig and Ryland's new release looks great. I'm really excited to try this out on people. Um, I got, um... So these posters that you can see behind me, they were free from Ace Magic Studios, so thank you to Ace Magic Studio for those. Um, I got a Stage Illusion book, I got some Black Art stuff from Eric Chen. Um, I'm looking on the floor because that's where most of my uh, Blackpool stuff is. I got this cool trick which I'd love to, oh, uh, which I'd love to show you, so it uses a deck of cards of course. Um, now I would just ask someone to say stop, so let's say they said stop here. Uh, we'll take the card that they stopped on, so the Seven of Hearts. And that's going to go into the middle of the deck, just like this. So I'm going to take the top card, which is the Ace of Clubs, and just turn it the other way up. When I just snap like this, that's when every single card in the deck turns the other way up. Oh, I probably missed it, but yeah, there's one the other way up still. And that should hopefully be the Seven of Hearts. But it gets better, because the Seven of Hearts has a blue back, whereas this is actually... It is a red deck of cards. You can see that every single card in the deck is completely red. But it gets even better than that because there never really was any cards in this deck to begin with. It was actually completely blank. So yeah, that was a really cool trick I got. I really enjoyed that. I got the next volume of Refractor, which I'm looking forward to trying out. I got an Illusion book. Um, Wayne Fox gave me a really cool product for free. So thank you so much to Wayne Fox. He gave me Churchgate, which I've been trying. It's awesome. Um, let's see. I got a really cool way of like unlocking people's phones, like an iPhone, uh, or not iPhone, just a, a password a prediction. I got a dancing cane, um, and there were a few other things as well that I got, which I really enjoyed. Oh, Prism Deck by Joshua J, that was it. I'm loving that. And yeah, so that was pretty much it for the dealers. Uh, I also got these free posters from Ace Magic Studios, so thanks so much to them. Luke Osley was giving a couple of his decks of cards away for free, which also really kind of him. So thank you so much to um, to Luke Osley. Um, and here are some of the other really cool people I met. So I met Dynamo again, which was awesome. I mean, you know, it's an amazing convention when that isn't even the best part of it, you know. Uh, Bo Kremer was there from Murphy's Magic. He was awesome. Killian, Izzy Simpson. Um, there were just so many amazing people. There, um, on, I think it was a Saturday, um, there was a kid named Harry Merlin Piper um, who was just fooling me for like half an hour straight with like pickpocket type things. Uh, he has probably some of the best misdirection I've ever seen and he's like 12 years old. So that was awesome. It was great to see Craig and Ryland, of course. I got to race Ryland in a cube off. Um, and, um, I, oh, of course, it was great to see Rafi again. Rafi is incredible, always blows my mind. 
Um, and yeah, that was pretty much it for the convention. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying. Links to everyone I've been talking about will be in the in the description below, as, as well as a link to the Magic Island Society and my social media. So please do take a look. Um, and yeah, let's get into the compilation. Oh, before I go though, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone at the Blackpool Magic Convention that made it possible. It was one of the best weekends of my life and just to everyone that helped organise it, it was absolutely incredible. So thank you. Now, let's get into the compilation. <laughs> So you never did any trick? No, really, no. No, it's the it's 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 You? Yes. Okay. So he will pick up a card. Okay. Yeah? And you won't look, I won't look. Okay. But you already know the card is red or black. Tell me, the card is red or black? Red. Red. We both know the cards are red, right? You go, any cards, it's no force, no force, any card. Don't tell me. Okay. Have a look. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. Look his face, look his face, it's yeah. his son. You yeah. know it. Is it a red card or not? Oh my god, man. Look. Put the card anywhere you like, anywhere you like. Yeah, here, and no breaks. You squared up. No breaks, holy shit! Because you were the. You guys all know I could find this card straight away. Okay. I won't find this card. Actually, you will find the card. Okay. Have you found any card in your life? Never. Look, I only make a fun, and you feel any card. Like you go for the card you think it is. Right. Yeah, so yeah. You, yeah, you, you take any card, any card you like. I won't help him. Yeah. He took one. Tell me. There is no way. It's no way, isn't it? There Tell me. No what was your card? Six of diamonds. Here we go. Hey! He, your magic. he did it. Yo, people hire me just to do this for five hours straight in a <laughs> row, man. Like Joseph in the team. 70 seconds! Oh my god! Keep going, man! 
keep going, keep going, keep going. We believe in you. Oh my god. He's fast, he's really fast. They were really fast when I do it. He's close. He's really close. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph is doing. What's that? No, stop. Joseph! Disqualified. I don't know how this works. I have Yeah. 
I'm just going to uh, count down for. Oh no, sorry, that should have been there. Sorry. I'm going to count down for one, two, three, four. That's three. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what I don't understand is how that card ended up in, ended up in the fourth position. Yes. I, I didn't see that. Thank <laughs> you. 